Hey guys, we're back again. Who's with me? Who's still with me? I ate way too much while we were gone. T trying to refresh everything. Oh, that was scary, wasn't it? That was really, really scary. I was like, oh my goodness, I thought it was my, I thought it was just my internet. Then I thought it was, oh, I don't know. Then I thought it was just my YouTube and I even changed jewelry, guys. I just took off my earrings and ate too much popcorn. This is really good. My husband always brings me popcorn from this hardware store that he visits pretty much daily. You know that fresh popcorn? So that's what I was having while you were gone, and I was gone, and it was just so sad because I know it's late. So if you guys went to bed, I don't blame you at all. I should go to bed too, but like I said, I was having my popcorn. Still finishing my beverage, but I took off my earrings. <laughs> I took off my big earrings, and I posted something on Instagram. And everybody's there's a big thing on Twitter right now that said wow that youtube was down i don't think it's happened in eight or nine years or something and it was worldwide and panic struck we were all panic struck for sure i know i am because you know guys i even put videos to go to sleep because i wear headphones to go to sleep and um i have to have I have to have something on just get i've gotten used to it and so i put on like a video that's about I don't, if it's a long video, I'll cut it down halfway, and I, I don't want it to be playing for more than an hour, but it usually lulls me to sleep in an hour. <laughs> and then it's usually people that I really enjoy, and then I'll wind up re-watching the video the next day because I missed it because I fell asleep. But I know we need to get to bed, and we were talking. If you're new to the channel, guys, we're going to do a jewelry jar. We also talked a little bit about jewelry cleaning and all that good stuff. Then we had a crash, and so we're going to get started and uh, open this jar that was $20, but I got it for about $16. Sorry for scratching my nose, guys. I hope everything is okay in the background and all that. I'm going to open again the chat, and hopefully this time it will work for me. So I can say hello to people and see who stayed with me. See if I have any moderators in here. Oh my goodness, that was just weird. Really, really weird. Oh gosh, please let it come back. This is where we started getting the issues when I opened up that second window. Okay, okay, we're back. Oh, thank goodness. All right, hey, Dita, Bianca, Guillermo's back, new kitty's here. <laughs> Spyware, hi, Spy, how are you? Maya Georgian and Marge West, Maria Carrillo. Hey, Grumpy, how are you, Barb? Going on, Grumpy. Yeah, that was really, I was panicked. <laughs> I think Ansley over at Mother's Mustache says, my life is ruined or I have no life now or something. <laughs> And then somebody on Twitter said,
It's black again. It's black again. Okay, I think I'm back. Right, am I back now? Uh, Maya, George, and oh, thank you for being here. And Delia's here. Fake news. Yeah, Vanessa said it was probably the Russians. Uh, yeah, anyway, <laughs> it was pretty bad. <laughs> Lots of activity on Twitter about it. You guys are going to have to go look at that, those Twitter feeds. They were fantastic. Fantastically funny about how we are so addicted to our certain routine, right? And YouTube. Guys, be sure to give me a thumbs up as soon as you walk in the door. I was telling you I'm going to do a jar, a small little jar that I paid about $16 for. I'm going to do a giveaway as well. Uh, I had also, oh, Anita, I'm so glad you're here. I want to thank you for giving us the tip about the ketchup. It worked perfectly on my EH bracelet that is bronze, I believe, and it had that ugly little green verdigris. Hey, Nikki, how are you? Thank you for being here. I really appreciate you being here. That's a popular picker there, guys. Go subscribe, subscribe to her channel as well. She does really fun videos, including a listed or ditch it that we've been missing, so I hope you bring that back soon. Uh, yeah, the ketchup worked great. I could not believe it. I used a little packet of ketchup that I had at work. I took an old toothbrush that I have here at the house, and I said, I'm going to do it at work because I don't have ketchup in my desk. And it came right off. And I was telling everyone that I had actually tried the Simicrone, which polishes uh, hubcaps and everything, you know, and it would not take off the verdigris. With the ketchup one application, it was gone. It was crazy. I love it. So that worked really well. Ketchup is going to be my number one cleaner right now. All right, let's get started with this, and then we'll do a giveaway. And we're going to give away um, some jewelry, of course. We're going to do a grab bag, but I want to, I, I've made up some different grab bags. I have a multi grab bag, like with rings and, and bracelets and everything, or I have a an exclusive bangle or an exclusive necklace, which y'all can choose from. All right, it's all gone out of here. It's not a very big jar, kind of standard size. I have much bigger ones. I have a really big one that I haven't opened yet. Okay, we have a match of these earrings. They're like threaded. I don't know. They might do well. Maybe with a couple of more, you know, a little lot or something, I would sell those. Hey, Ansley, I'm glad you're back. Darlene Buckland, how are you? So maybe I'll put these on now. I feel naked. I see I was taking off all my jewelry when I crashed. When we crashed, I took off all the jewelry. And then I thought I would wear my little ivory necklace that I found. I believe this came out of a jar too, guys. I thought I would wear that tomorrow. And then I was trying to decide whether I was going to take that little necklace with me to try to list it. See, that's how I've been getting into the challenge. Well, last week I had a couple of meetings that I had to go to. Is I'll take the jewelry, like this watch. This is cute. I'll take it with me. I'll take quick little pictures while I'm at lunch at my desk. That is a nice watch. And list it up on Poshmark. Poshmark's so easy to, to list. And then I'll do eBay too. eBay's not that hard to do either. You know, it's just that with Poshmark, it's not that many questions you have to answer. This says Mark with, a, isn't that, maybe it's Mark Jacobs. I don't know. It's got like a little hallmark, like a little logo that says Mark. And it looks like a heart. Very heavy and nice. I don't know. Or maybe it's a makeup brand. It's got an interesting face there. It's kind of cool. Yes, Guillermo, it works so well. Try the ketchup. Just I just brushed it on there. It's got one little package of ketchup because that that's what I had. It was McDonald's ketchup. You know, there is a difference in ketchup, guys. I like whataburger ketchup myself, especially the spicy one. It's so good. Hey, Cindy, how are you? Yeah, it says Mark, and then it's got a little dot, and it's all in lowercase. This is a cute watch. So that's what I've been doing uh, just to make time, guys, to list. I wear the jewelry, and, you know, usually the jewelry... I like it. It doesn't say, it says Japan movement. That's it. So I don't know. I'll just wear it and sell it. And I'm just putting this on because I just haven't worn this. I'm not, I can't sell ivory as you know, but I haven't worn it and I've been wanting to wear it. So I'll put it on. Here's another watch. Kenneth Cole. Pretty much done with watches, guys. I have way too, way too many. 
but some pretty ones have shown up here and there. And I have found some gold ones here and there. That's good. Okay, here's a little stone. Really pretty. It looks like a little mountain uh, scene or something. A little like maybe some sand dunes, and it's really pretty. Kind of brownish and blue colors in there. I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah, a lot of people gave me tips on the verdigris because, like I said, I have so many vintage pieces that I isolate and keep them in quarantine because they do say that it spreads. So if you have any jewelry that has that pes pesky little green stuff on it, which I also had a um, a really pretty ring. Oh, I took off all my rings. A really pretty turquoise ring. And like I said, I tried cleaning with this and with um, hand sanitizer, which I also used to shine up silver, and it did not budge that verdigris did not budge but that ketchup like this like this and somebody else said colgate colgate and baking soda she said works and then somebody else said vinegar and something but i just hate going into the pantry and look looking for my vinegar i don't even know where it is i don't use it this is a really pretty bracelet guys it's one of those ropey crochet type but it's like crystal beads on it that's super nice. I like that a lot. Guys, if you're just walking in, don't forget to give me that thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. The content here usually revolves around reselling, but I not only sell jewelry, I sell clothing, I sell hard goods. I just sold two books on Amazon that I had my husband hunt for a minute ago, <laughs> and he didn't find it, but then I finally found it. I have about four bookshelves where I keep my books, and I do have them in order, but I had forgotten about that one. I had forgotten where I left it, but we found it. So I think you'll like the content here. It's pretty much all about what we find at thrift stores and Goodwill and, you know, things that we can flip for profit. And um, so that is my side hustle. been doing it for quite a while. I'm a power seller on eBay. If you're interested in that kind of stuff, I think you'll like the content here. This is kind of cute, too. A little medallion. Kind of a double there red and black i'm not sure if i like these earrings guys i had some silver hoops on earlier i just put them on because i kind of feel naked without my earrings but when we had that crash i started eating and drinking got nervous took off my jewelry hey debs how are you is my bracelet new your bracelet is new debbie that picture that you sent me on instagram i would say that link is new they, they pretty much have a classic curb I'm talking about James Avery bracelets. They have a classic curb style. And that one looks like the Rolo kind almost. Uh, it's very popular. Everybody loves that one. But most of their bracelets sell for about that price on the secondhand market, about $30 or $40. But I'm really interested in what you can get for those charms because, I don't know, I don't think cheerleader charms, I haven't seen them in a long time, if, they, if at all. Here's a really pretty necklace. So I would definitely check that one. And I couldn't tell what the other one was. It a was it a like a a clover? I would check eBay first. Check those that are sold from highest to lowest, and then I would price accordingly because they do go high if they're rare. And that one with the pom poms, I would keyword it pom pom girl cheerleader. I would definitely think that could go for some good money because it it even looked big. It looked like an oversized charm. I don't know. This is cute. I'm not showing it to you in its, in its full potential here. It has like little uh, Delft or something paintings on it, like blue and white. Can you guys see that? Or is it getting blinded out? It's really cute. Belinda had a good question. Do your coworkers buy your jewelry? Uh, actually, I had one coworker last year. We became friendly, and she left to another school, and she regrets it. See what happens when people think they're going to the uh, greener grass, right? She called me last night. She said, I hate my job. Anyway, she wants, uh, I showed her how to how to do eBay and Etsy and everything. And she wants to browse through my Etsy shop and said, oh, I want to get that. Or I want to get that. And then she started saying, no, you know what? She wasn't really a jewelry person. So she's like, I better not. I really have to pay my bills. So she was a lot smarter than me about keeping her money. <laughs> But no, really, I haven't. I have also sold when I worked at the clinic, at the autism clinic. I had I always share my, you know, that I that I sell on eBay and everything, and I and occasionally while we would browse through my things. That's a nice brooch. And I did have one girl buy a coach um, briefcase from me, 
she loved it. She saw it in, the, in my store as we, she was browsing through the app. And she said, I want that. Bring it tomorrow. So she did buy that. But no, unless it comes up in conversation, you know. That's pretty. That almost looks like a moon, but then you could wear it like this too, I guess. And I don't, it's kind of a matted or a matte finish on there. Gold tone. That's cute. It does have, oh, 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 oh. It looks like a Whiting and Davis logo. Let's check it out. No, it's just like, it's just like, a, it's got like a pattern in the back. So that's why it fooled me. It looked like it had some kind of mark, but I don't see anything now. All right, but I'm still, I'm making a, I'm making a brooch lot as well. So that could be a choice for the giveaway too, if you want brooches. Brooches, necklaces, or the mix lot. Okay, here's a tangled. They're pretty though. They're glass beads, stretch. But they're nice. Looks like somebody wanted to get crafty with it. Yes, we love to buy and sell. That's what I do. That's why I put this necklace on. You know, I it came out of the jar. I can't sell it, but I love it. Here's a pretty little bracelet, kind of a bypass with some flowers. Oh, I did sell a ring while we were gone, guys. Super excited. I sold a blue. You may be able to see it still. I think I have it on Posh. But it sold on eBay, and I got a best offer. I had it for $59. I got a best offer for $50. Snapped it up. It's shipping out tomorrow. Super excited about it because it's sterling silver, and it's probably just a glass stone, kind of a really pretty deep teal color, though, and kind of a modernist setting. And I think I paid all of $10 for it. So that was exciting. That was some good luck that came in while I was eating and drinking. yes very very exciting especially for that good offer you know that some people oh my god they love the low ball offers but i have no idea what this is guys it looks like uh it looks like they were trying to make it out of a sweater clip because it, it's an earring but look at the back that's weird that's really strange so i'll put that in the craft room. so yeah i sold a ring for 50 bucks exciting Especially since I picked it up at a thrift store probably four years ago. Here's some plain earrings, but I do have a match on this one, orange. If I put that in my earring lot. Okay. And then, so these are matched. That's nice. I like when they do match up the earrings. They're plain white plastic stones, but they look nice and they're matched. That always is nice. Guys, if I missed you, I'm sorry. I'm trying to get through the jar. Susan, how are you? Nora, if you have any questions for me, highlight my name or put it in caps. Oh, no, no. I don't advertise that much, Belinda. Uh, I don't know. And, you know, I work with some women right now that the only one that really wears jewelry is the principal. And my, um, my special education department head. Oh my gosh, she wears a lot of turquoise. You can tell she loves her turquoise and bracelets and rings and, and no wedding ring like me. I Occasionally I wear my wedding ring, but I have so many rings that, you know, it, it, I take turns with. <laughs> Some people look to me, why don't you wear your wedding ring? I don't know. I got prettier rings to wear. I mean, I love my wedding ring. I do. But I don't wear it like it's got to be worn, you know? I mean, maybe I've been married so long that it's. You know, I like to switch them off. And that's what that lady does, too. <laughs> she wears rings in every finger. And once in a while, I see her. That's kind of cute. I just, you know, to me, it's it's just a ring, right? It's not what proves whether you're married or not, in my opinion. <laughs> so the other women that I work with, they're, they're kind of, they don't really wear jewelry. I really don't notice it if they do. They might just wear a band or something. This is a nice gold chain. It's got like beads inside of the hook, the, the chain links. I'm trying to hold it like this so you can see it better. And it's still got a nice color. I really like it. Actually, only one person has ever asked me if I wore, why didn't I wear my wedding ring. And I didn't like him too much. He wasn't very nice. He was my boss. <laughs> a long time ago before I became a teacher. I used to run his office. 
All right, that's pretty. I like it. No mark on it, though. Gold chain. Debbie Keithley's here, too. Hmm, Esmeralda Gonzalez, how are you? This is cute. It's plastic. It's a pretty color. Really nice citrine color. How are you guys seeing the jewelry? And how's the stream? Is it is it rough again? Blurry? I tell you I got a lot of thumbs down because of my blurry stream last time. Someone even said, why should I give you a thumbs up if your stream's so blurry? She was frank, huh? Candid. It's <laughs> like, okay. Well, this is cute. Green and gold beads. Kind of long, too. Good. I'm glad. Thank you, Nikki. Thank you for letting me know. These are pretty. They're kind of faceted and marbleized on the, uh, the brown ones. But they're just plastic. They're super cute, though. Pretty colors. All right. And here's a black one. This almost looks, it is marked. Every time I see this, maybe they were so popular because I always kind of know that they're Napier or Monet. Oh, no. This one says Japan. I'm excited now. That's vintage. You see Japan or Korea on anything these days? It's vintage. Especially on jewelry. I know they did make some really pretty imitation pearls, though. I have run into those in my jars. And uh, someone told me that they were pretty popular and expensive even in their day because they were made so well for imitation. These are really nice, and they, they're knotted, guys. They're plastic, though. They're pretty. Yeah, I thought for sure it said Napier or Monet on that little on that little thing there but it says japan that's exciting oh little stretch little gold stations and these are plastic but pretty ruby colored bracelet and here's another turquoise colored stretch here is an earring this is interesting. It's just like on a black string. It's kind of pretty style there. Put that in my miscellaneous pile. And here's a nice one too. It looks like lapis or satellite. But it's probably imitation because it looks like it says express or something. But let's check. No. Gosh, everything's fooling me today. This is 925. But it also says something else. So it's possible it is lapis or satellite. I'm going to take it, let you take a better look at it. Looks more like satellite. It says Kamek. It looks like, okay, it says, so it's like a name and it's half faded. M A I M A I M C 925. And then on the other side, it doesn't say anything. Wow, this is pretty. So let me let you take a look at those stones. I think it's so light more than lapis. It's got a lot of white in it. That's pretty. That would look really nice with this shirt I'm wearing because it's kind of a denim color. That's really pretty. Can you guys see that? Hey, Darlene, how are you? Hi, Kathleen. Thank you for being here. I really appreciate my moderators, Nikki, being here, and Kathleen. I don't know if Vanessa, did you make it back? Vanessa, Vanessa might have decided to call it a night. Can you guys see how pretty that is? Hey, Faye. And badge check-in? Badge check-in. <laughs> That's cute. You guys come up with some crazy names. I love it. Velvet sunflowers here as well. Yeah, this is cool. Okay, we may have to put that on and list it tomorrow too. I'm going to try to be in the listing challenge if I can, if I get a chance. I, I kind of doubt it though because I do have an important art meeting tomorrow. And then I have I already have emails from my principal. I don't answer until I get to school though. That's enough of that, you know? I mean, you got to have a life. 
not going to answer the email until I get to, to work. Not that important. I can wait. Oh, I can't hook it right now. I'll do it later. All right. Here's a pretty green one, too, guys. I'm liking this. I wonder if it's Jade. It's really cold. Okay. Somebody was saying that, yes, it's cold, but lots of stones are cold, but Jade is really cold. This is really cold. Cool. And look how pretty it's got different shades. I'm going to roll it twice so you can see it close. It's got different shades. I still got to find a Christmas brooch. I sold that yesterday. So don't move that box yet, babe. Okay. Look how pretty these are. They're different shades of green. I'm going to take a good look under these because you can see little inclusions and all kinds of things. I've been studying that jade bangle I have. And you can see the difference between. I don't know. I, I could swear this is jade because of all of the different shades and even the different shapes of beads. It's like they really put some work in it. You know? Can you guys see that? This is nice. I love green jewelry. I only have a small little set of emerald posts that one of my bosses gave me a long time ago. That's the only emerald I think that I own. Some little studs. You can barely see them. But they're cute. But I do love anything green. The jade, the emerald. They're so pretty. Even the imitation costumes. <laughs> I hope you can see it. I don't think the camera does it justice. It is amazing. And it, it looks like an infinity. It doesn't have anything. It doesn't have any kind of a clasp. And it is super, super cold. The thing about J2, when you wear it, it like it stays cold. You know, pearls get warm. When you wear pearls and you take them off, they're warm. They feel like the, your body temperature has gotten to them. I'm wearing everything out of bed, guys. Did you set the emerald ring? I have two of them. Did you sell the emerald ring? Which one? The one that I showed in my thing? In my collections? Forgot about that ring. I haven't sold it, no. I haven't sold it. I forgot about that ring. But I think I told you guys that I wasn't sure if it was an emerald. I don't know. Maybe it's not the one we're talking about because I have two. But the ones that I know are, gen are definitely emeralds are, are my earrings. This is pretty too, but look, it looks like they started it but didn't finish it. It's pretty. I just need to, I'll put that over there for my husband to finish it. That's a really nice collection. No, I haven't sold that. I sold the, a blue stone ring today. That's pretty. These are, are, they might be natural stones too because they're glass and they do have all kinds of inclusions and things on them. The blue ones do anyway. They're pretty. Is it starting to freeze again, guys? Peridot is what you like, Cindy. I do too. I always wanted a peridot ring. I don't have one. Okay, here's a statement necklace. It looks like some sterling here. Tangled up with it. Okay, that fell. Here's the sterling. I mean, the statement. Ooh, this is cute. Can't tell if there's any stones missing. Good, good. That's pretty. Very heavy. And I don't think it has any stones missing on it. Because it looks like the top is supposed to have rhinestones. I want you to look at it before I do. So I move too much and it all gets blurry. Okay, it's roses. It's roses and then it's like nugget drops there. Because the inside of these teardrops or whatever, they kind of glazed with glitter and they're kind of shaped. They're kind of shaped like a nugget. Very interesting. I think I'll put that in my necklace. Oh, a brooch too. 
contemporary piece, I think, and it's signed Liz Claiborne. Very pretty though, so well made. She makes good stuff. It's really nice. Pretty colors. They are glass and rhinestone. I think I'm gonna put that in my brooch, in my brooch lot to give away too, because you're gonna have a choice tonight. Okay, oh, this is cute. It looks very 50s, but it's not. It's It's got a little tag and everything. It's probably Express or something, but it's cute. Really cute. Gold tone. Yeah, I think they're all, there's some crystals in here. It's mixed. There's crystals and plastic. This is pink. This one here is pink with like a cranberry, really a mixture of pinks and reds. It's very cute. Let me see what the tag says. It looks like it probably is Express or something. Maybe Chico's Express. Yeah, it's an Express. It's really cute. Oh, my nails. <laughs> You're asking about my nails. My nails, I put purple and then I put glitter at the tip. I mean, at the at the beds right here in the back. And then I kind of just dropped it in there and just like dry brush it so it could just kind of flow to the rest of the nail. That's what I did. I put a multicolored glitter in the, in the edges, like on the beds, after I put a purple. Well, here's a cute watch. Interesting band. Saddle River. Hey, don't they make Western wear? This is cute. Don't they? Isn't that the brand of that of that purse that Margaret was auctioning a couple of months ago? I think. I I think this is. I think this brand makes Western clothes. Saddle River. And look at that pretty band with a toggle blue that's really pretty that is really nice it's like a mesh i like that hope you can see it that is really a nice watch saddle river i know i've heard it i know people have sold either western shirts or purses or something of that brand that's really cute hey carol how are you Thanks for joining us late night, what do you call it, night owls? It's not, late. it's not that late in California though, right? It's late here in Texas. That's a cute watch, I like it. And it, it is adjustable, so I could actually hook it on the second or third loop there. Very cute, I like that watch. Okay, oh, these are pretty. These look a little a little bit like the ones Elizabeth was selling quite a few showcases ago, but she had some really pretty ones like this, but they were actually crystals. These look like some kind of bugle bead. And they almost have a Native American look to them. That's really pretty. It is tagged. It has an antique finish, gold finish, gold tone finish on the chain, and it is mesh. And let's see what the brand is in just a minute. That's really pretty. See, it looks like a, almost like a chest plate, like a Native American chest plate. Small version of it, of course. That is cool. I like this. Hey, Ansley, made it back. I think I said hi to you earlier. I'm not sure. Thank you for being here. All right, it says Zao Zad. Z A D. Uh, just some kind of a independent designer or something. I don't know. I've never heard of it. If you guys have heard of any of these brands, let me know. That's a very pretty necklace. These are definitely glass, long glass bugle beads with gold stations of beads as well. Okay, I like that. We've gotten some good watches, guys, some good stuff. Sterling silver so far as well, some necklaces. We did get that other earring that matched, but it looked like somebody got crafty, kind of crazy like, because that looks like that should be a clip on a sweater or something. I don't know. So that's kind of weird. 
Oh, here's a cute little pendant. But I think it needs a bail. Looks like Snow White's mirror or something. It's kind of interesting. Hi, Barbie Crafts and Pearl is Precious Jewelry. How are you? Misha Renee is here. I think I said hello to you. Thank you for being here. All right, and then here's some gold tone earrings. They're cute and lightweight. We do have kind of an AB stone there, but they're really pretty. Kind of a rose gold, too. I like the lightweight earrings, guys, especially if they're big, because my ears don't have to suffer with that extra weight, but they still look really cute. See, they're, these earrings are cute to put on right now. Sparkle. Okay, here's an interesting brooch, guys. Where is it? Right here, it's open. It almost looks silver. Wow, this is silver. I'll bet you anything this is silver. I'm going to let you look at the back just so you can, you can yay or nay, but doesn't that tarnish color already look like silver? It does to me. Look at the front. You're going to die. It's beautiful. Looks like onyx. And it is open in the back, as you just saw. Usually when it's enamel, it's not open in the back. I mean, sometimes it is. And I actually prefer when they're closed because they won't. I think they're more secure. But this really looks like silver to me. Let me check it out. This is nice. Let me look real quick at this first. I don't know. It just looks like silver. Let me look on the side. And you know what? It actually looks repaired because it looks like the little dialing thing right there that holds it. That looks gold tone. But the other part, that's definitely onyx. I can see the back of it. And I don't, it's marcasite. And it looks like all the marcasite is there. I'm gonna have to test it. Where's my little scratch thing? I'm not gonna test it right now, but I am gonna scratch it real quick. Sometimes you can tell just by scratching it, that is a pretty brooch. And it's kind of curved. It's not flat. That's pretty. That's really cute. What do I do with my little sandstone? Whatever it's called. <sighs> See now, I got, got sidetracked. I don't know where I left it. Tell you, what does YouTube do to you? Drive you nuts when they crash. Oh, well, I'll check it and I'll show it to you. I, I can, um, well, let me get the magnet at least. There's a the magnets. Very unprepared today, I'm sorry. Well, it's not picking up the magnet. This is probably heavier than the magnet, so it should pick it up. See, that's a magnet, but it's not. And I showed, Earlier, I was going to start. Oh, here it is. <laughs> Here's my little stone. I was going to show some testing that I did because I've been seeing a lot of people test and they do different methods. And they do one where it turns the stuff red, the scratch red. But when I do mine, it scratches like sterling. When I do mine, it uh, actually makes it disappear. So yeah, it seems to scratch like silver, but I will get that tested further and see. I'm, I really can almost say with certainty that it is. I'll let you know. All right, let's move on. Here's a blue necklace, plastic. Kind of cute. Marcusite and Onyx together usually are strong. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. And then the fact that it's vintage, it really looks deco. It's super cute. I wish it was a pendant too. It would be nice. But it can always be like a choker. Be a nice one to sell. Okay, uh, here's some jewelry, necklaces rather. This is cute. Kind of dangles inside the ring there, gold tone. It almost looks like my wedding ring inside there. I have a, like a wedding eternity band that's kind of square. It's kind of what it looked like got rhinestones all around it it just kind of twists 
there in the ring and this is a free flowing ring there that's pretty and i don't see any kind of mark on it but let me double check nope nothing nothing okay but it's cute here's a silver chain just a silver tone snake chain nice to put a pendant on i like getting these because we get so many pendants in the jars and not enough chains and here's a this one's not marked but it's lavender little beads these are not knotted they're more like mardi gras beads but another brooch very nice this one is marked this one almost looks like an awareness ribbon but it's got a little bit more to it okay this is a trafari it's a crown trafari excellent excellent it does have the little crown in the back so that's pretty i think it's kind of like a little maybe just an abstract scribble design or something gold tone it's, it's very different i like the design really pretty and um i don't know if you'll be able to see the mark but it's back right here right uh, underneath this swirl it's got a crown on top of the t and it's a trafari so that's pretty nice it's a very nice design and it almost has like a 3d effect to it because it's so curvy yeah that's a pretty brooch it really is i'm going to put that in the brooch lot as well for the giveaway this is a cheap little stretchy bracelet no big deal uh i did like these earrings though and i think i saw the other one now i don't see it It'll probably pop out in a minute it's a little drop kind of an aquamarine color it's pretty though let's see if i got any questions guys i don't want to miss your questions i don't want to be worried but if you do have questions put them in caps missing pieces like zipper pulls for designer bags interesting that you mentioned that because i actually saved a zipper pull from my gucci from a long time ago that my mother made me give to my cousin and uh for some reason i had taken the, the zipper pull out because it was the one that has like the like the little angel or something with her wings out and i still have that and then i just found a gucci and i was going to use it for it even though it doesn't need it, it just has a plain little pull but i thought it would look cute I don't know, but I would definitely try eBay. Where else are you going to go? You go to eBay and you put in zipper pull for old Gucci, and I'll bet you you could buy it for $20. Because I've definitely seen them for sale. The one that I own, that little zipper pull, people are selling it for $20, $25 all day long. So that's where I would look, eBay. All right, these are cute too. Little white gold enamel, kind of cream actually but i don't see the match right off the bat put that in my little onesie jar for now um oh, these are cute these are matched up these look like they used to be gold filled <laughs> they're not they're nice and faded now they're just uh, little hoops but they've they've got that little in between gold and silver look like they were gold plated at one time so i'll probably put that in the craft lot Here's another, just a little wiry. This is pretty though, black necklace, double strand. Hey Sandy, I'm glad you made it back. I don't know if you were already in there before, but I didn't see you. Uh, let me see. Okay, these are really nice. I don't know if you guys watched Jess Steph. She's a young girl, reseller does a lot of designer sales but she sells on posh and everywhere and she's got her own business where she makes these types of necklaces uh by special order and i think she's doing them in sterling now but she does quite a business with hers and you can get your own monogram personalized monogram this one says mom oh how pretty is that because it looks like the ones that you can get with your own you know monogram on your own initials and this one actually says mom i love that that is cute 
I got to get that listed. I've gotten good business with the mom or I love mom brooches at any time, but especially around May, spring, because people buy them, you know, for new mothers as well. This is really beautiful. It's still tagged too. It's got a little white tag. But yeah, just, I think it's Love Always Stephanie is her YouTube channel. And she has her own business where she does these types of necklaces. It says $2 on it, but it's so cute. They were probably selling it at some thrift store for $2. I like it. And it's really nice. It's got the double bill in the back. So it sits really pretty. Yeah, I like that. All right. Let's move. Let's move. Let's move. Some, I don't really like these little red earrings. They're just kind of glued on rhinestones. An expensive dollar store type craft lot. Okay. Here's some pretty ones. And they're matched. They're red. The little French hook, I think it's called. These are cute. Hi, Granny Josie. How are you? Yeah, these are pretty. Silver tone. Matched earrings over there. These appear to be unmatched. No, here's the purple one. This is pretty. This is the color of my nail polish, guys. If you want to know what color my nail polish is, <laughs> it's this color. Yeah, this is cool. They're lightweight too, but they're glass. They're not plastic. They're pretty. Very deep purple. So that'll go in the matched up earrings. Here's a cute little dangle ring. Just a little, like a pom-pom there. Adjustable. And uh, these are matched up too. Black enamel, gold tone. Just simple, kind of conservative. Career jewelry. I wore those big hoops to, oh, here's a pretty necklace. Marcusite, it looks like sterling. It is. Wow, that was a good jar, you see? Why I was so upset, you haven't even seen the other video I did, guys. I'm almost crying. It was it was not a good jar for me. It was, I think, the most expensive one I've bought. Paid full price, $60 for it. And there was it was okay, I will get my money back and maybe a little bit more, but this one, $16, and I've already gotten all that sterling. I'm super excited. This is definitely Hallmark sterling right here on the Italy sterling 925, rather. Little rope chain, and then it's got like amethyst with marcasite again. Very nice, like a flame design. Pretty necklace. Really pretty. Definitely happy with this jar i wish i could remember which goodwill i got it from i don't i do not remember because i frequent quite a few different ones <laughs> all over town wherever i'm at if i'm close to work on the way home there's about two or three close to my house there's about two or three so i couldn't even tell you if i wanted to go back to the same store so every time people ask me which ones do you go to which ones do you go to i'm like just you know gps whichever one is close to you because it's just a matter of the luck of the draw and then some days they don't have them. And some days they do. In the middle of a Monday at 4 o'clock, they have some. You just never know. Can you guys see how pretty that, that little stone is? It has marcasites all around it. And then it's got sort of a flame design and a nice. I Is that a pear shape? I think that's a pear-shaped, I mean, uh, amethyst or a purple stone. I don't know. And when I sell them, usually I'll just say purple stone if I don't know if it's a genuine stone or not it hasn't been tested or anything that's how i do it safely on ebay i'll just say purple stone they know i'll give them nice close-up views and they'll know and i'll price it accordingly i'm not going to give it on put the word amethyst on it it's pretty i like this let me see if this is marked if, at all I don't see a mark on the, the um, oh yeah, there it is on the top of the, on the top of the bale, 925. It's cute. 
It's a cute necklace. It really is. Hope you can see that. Okay. Here's a cute little button earring. I don't know if I have the match yet. Clip on, rather. Where's my silver stuff? Okay. Here's a match of these two little silver dingles. Kind of getting faded, though, but put them in a lot. Uh, we did have a match to this one, the enamel. And a little angel. I like that. Guardian angel pin. I like my guardian angels. And as I was showing you in the uh, other video, Elizabeth sent me the prettiest rosary bead bracelet with my purchase from last week or two weeks ago. And it has a little gold cross and some pink hearts, crystal hearts, and a uh, blessed mother as well. Can't hardly see it with my charm bracelet, but I like it. I think it's pretty. Okay. I think that's it, guys. I think we're down to just the single earrings. Here's a gold tone chain. It's pretty, though. It's got a cross inside the heart costume. And we do have some matching earrings. They're stamped, which is kind of interesting. Let me see what they say. Avon. Avon SH. So that might have been a, a designer for Avon SH, if you guys know. They're pretty. They're long French hooks with white enamel. They're pretty. I like these. I like white jewelry too. All right, then some silver. Just little rings like that. And black beads as well. Lots of matched earrings, too. It looks like they did a good job with this jar, really. I don't think there's any mismatched earrings. Every time I say they're, they're not matched, they, I find the other one. So they all seem to be matched. Pretty good, pretty good. And I can swear this is definitely sterling. Okay, guys, um, I think that's it. No, nope, no. Nope. Every time I say that, here's something else. Oh, this is cute. Oh, my goodness. Look how pretty this is with the Blessed Mother. And she's blue enamel. She looks, she looks vintage. She looks like something we used to sell at our store. I went to a Catholic school and we, it looks like something from there. It looks vintage. It looks like they just put it on this necklace, which is like a pink rhinestone choker. And then they added the little blessed mother there. I think that's so cute. Hi, Debbie and Max go thrifting. <laughs> You decided to come out. Thank you for coming out and leaving a comment. I don't know if you can see it, but it's so pretty. It's blue enamel with the Blessed Mother there. And they just probably added it to this choker. It's really cute. And this is really different, too. It's gold tone. It's got a box, like a little box clasp. Yeah, that's cute. And I think I showed you this one already. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and this one came out too, which we have we decided if this is sodalite? I don't think it's lapis. Okay. Sandy, take a look at this before you leave us. I wasn't sure if you came back, but I showed this right away. And I don't think it's lapis. I think it's sodalite, but I don't know. You tell me what you think. Can you see it? eBay has better shipping prices if their boxes were any good. You mean their uh, branded boxes? I believe they are. Yeah, this is pretty. So this was a fabulous jar. I'm super excited about it. I, oh my gosh, I think I forgot my questions. I was going to ask you two questions. Okay. Whoever can think of these, I'm, I think I'm going to do um, two giveaways today. So we can, since we have quite a few people here and half of you guys gave me a thumbs up and I really appreciate it very much. It's not lapis, right? It's got too much white in it. It could be that soda light. It's so cute. I really like it. Okay. And they're just like natural cut stones. They're not shaped into anything. They just look like little beans or something. It's super pretty. 
All right, so yes, last time, guys, when I did a handbag haul, did you guys see me show the chicken, the chicken bag? The, I haven't used it yet, <laughs> but I'm definitely going to list it because I know somebody wants this on eBay. It's all rubber except for the bottom. It's kind of a nylon. It's super cute. I was telling you how this lady was looking oh, to this lady that goes to the Goodwill all the time. She's kind of like a Goodwill ambassador and just comments on everything that people are picking up. And I was looking at it. And she said, you are going to take it, right? You have to take that chicken purse. It's just too cute. Oh, it's got a logo on it here. So I took it for about $4 and I'm going to put it on eBay and I bet somebody will buy it for sure. Okay, now I know the name of it. Can't hardly read it. Oh, you know what? It almost looks like the symbol of FTD Florist. I wonder if it didn't come with a bouquet of flowers. It is so cute. Anyway, your, number, your first question, guys, are y'all frozen? Are y'all okay? Okay, the first question is about this chicken purse. I think it's cute too. I really do. It zips up and very nicely. And I wanted to show you the true shape, so I stuck it up. I want you to tell me, first person to tell me, and please just do one guess. Okay, so it can be fair, just one guess per person. What did I stuff it with? If you can guess what I stuffed it with, you can have your choice of a giveaway tonight of all bangles, brooches, or a mix. You have four hens? Really? Oh, I always wanted to have chickens. We can't even have more than two cats here. They're so strict. Okay, we have scarves. We have another purse. I did have purses in another. <laughs> That's a good guess, Cindy. Cotton, shoes, towel. Okay, not a jewelry jar. Sonja, you got it right. You got it right. Jewelry. That's exactly what I stuffed it with. Congratulations. Sonja Smith won that that guess. So that's fabulous. Thank you so much for playing, guys. It looks like she was the first one to guess it. Someone else said jewelry jar, but it wasn't a jewelry jar per se. It's actually just jewelry. So yeah, I did stuff it with a lot of jewelry because I like the weight, you know, also. I think it kind of helps bring out the shape sometimes i do that with my doonies as well because they can get crooked and they stay that way like the um the speedy bags do anyway all right so tell me sanja do you want me to give you a mix lot which is one that i've already started i can show it to you it's right here i've already started these giveaways okay I have a mix lot that I put together here. So it's got bangles and bracelets and necklaces and rings and everything. And I'm going to fill it up a little bit more so it can get really nice and full. Or do you want the, the brooch lot that's got some nice brooches in there? You saw me put the crown safari in there. Or do you want this one that's huge, but it's all bangles? All bangles and bracelets. And I did have this jewelry jar opening a few weeks ago. So you tell me which one you want. Those are your choices. And then for the next giveaway, I'm going to give them some other choices too. Okay, Sanja, did you say? Brooches, bangle lot, or the little mix lot with rings and everything all together. Who's texting me? <laughs> T-shirt. That's so funny. Somebody's guessing on, somebody's sending me a Facebook message guessing on this contest. Happy with anything? Is that what she said? Chose mixed. Okay, well, we'll get her the mixed. Now I have another question. And again, it's about my other videos. So I just like to, you know, make sure that I don't announce my, my giveaways because I want the people that watch my videos to be the ones that take take part in it in the contest so my other question is pretty simple i'm about to switch purses tonight but i don't want you to tell me the brand of purse so you gotta know purses <laughs> i don't want you to tell me the brand i'm going to switch to but i want you to tell me the style that i'm going to switch to tonight am i going to switch to, you know is it a handbag is it 
the tote. And the first person that guesses correctly gets the next choices of the ones that she left behind. So she took the mix lot. Okay. Good guesses, guys. Good guesses. It is, it is, it is a, it is a crossover. It is a crossover, yes. Yeah, it's, I'm gonna use the, the little Gucci cross, and it's crossbody is what it's called, but I'll take crossover, that's good enough. So congratulations to the next person that won that. Who was that back there? Uh, badge check-in. Badge check-in. That one I said had a really nice name. Okay, so do you want the the bangles, the brooches? I guess that's what's left, right? Because she took the mixed. Yeah, the bangles are the brooches. And then we'll shut it down. Hey, Elizabeth, how are you? You missed a contest. You missed an unboxing. You missed a YouTube crash. We're all sitting here very nervous, biting our nails. <laughs> but we're glad you're here. So did you decide which one you're going to get for your guests? Yes, brooches. Okay, fabulous. I'll send you that bag of brooches, this little jar of brooches that I've been that I started. And it includes that crown trafari I just put in here. And it also includes a really nice Monet and the JJ and a bunch of stuff I've been putting in there lately. And that Lowe's Claiborne. Send me your address uh to thelmahords at gmail.com. I'll put it in the description box of this video once we shout. Once we shut it down and it uploads, you'll find my address again written there. But it is Thelma Hordes, as in hoarder, at gmail.com. And then I'll get those out to you guys. Thank you so much for participating tonight. I really enjoyed it. I'm glad we're all back together again. And uh, we'll see you soon, okay? I will be doing some more videos, of course, all week. Uh, I have some recorded ones that I'll upload. And um, I also have an accessory haul and a handbag haul coming up. So thank you guys so much. I really appreciate y'all. Have a good night. Don't forget to give me the thumbs up before you leave. Subscribe if you didn't do it already. And I will see you very soon.